Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And what I want to go through real quick, it's not going to be a real tutorial, but it's going to be a peek into what uh, will be coming forward in a full tutorial, uh, possibly even a full title. Uh, but I want to show you a new way that I started rigging eyes. And this is for our new character um, who is yet to be revealed. She'll be revealed this Wednesday, this coming Wednesday. Um, and even though we're not going to get this in depth, we're going to be rigging uh, the character on Wednesday, but not any of the uh, face details. But I want to show you a sneak peek at something that will be coming later. Um, just how we're going to rig the eyes here for our character. And this is in Harmony Essentials. And Harmony Essentials 12. I'm going to bring up the timeline just to give you a quick overview at what we have happening so we have a layer called eyes and this is just the outline and just the whites of the eyes and we have a separate layer for the eyeballs now technically it's a peg it's controlling both the eyes, but I have the right as well as the left eye. So if I need to move them individually, I can. Um, case in point, uh, when I first moved these over, um, I didn't like where this eye over here ended up. So I can actually move that one independent and I can actually move the other one independent. But if I want to move them together, I can just by using the eye peg. Okay, so now here's the cool part about this. Um, the right eye and the left eye have a cutter. And this is the cutter effect. And I have that being controlled by the eye mask. And both of those are controlled by the eye mask. And if I go up here, to what the eye mask is. The eye mask is actually just the whites of the eyes, so it actually works that way. And pretty much, uh, I think this is going to give us a lot more control and a lot more variation without having to do a lot of extra drawings. So, and so that's a quick peek into uh, just how we're going to start moving about rigging the eyes for characters, especially for characters that have a lot of close-ups. Anyway, this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.